And I really did not want to bring you this clip. I'm serious, I didn't, because this clip is so ignorant. I think even watching it makes you lose brain cells. I heard he has a college degree. You wouldn't tell about the way he talks. It's like his whole thing is a shtick. He's an exploitation film that doesn't have any of the cool soundtracks. The great cameo appearances. Spies is his name. He puts out this horrible clip. Charlemagne disagrees with the clip, which gives it exponentially more exposure. He made a separate clip that really blew it up. So, besides Plies gets retweeted and reposted by Dale Hughley, who also works for Kamala, right along with Charlemagne, and then Charlemagne gets to pretend he doesn't support what Plies is saying, and now it just gives an extra air. Now people, more people are making content about it, playing right into their hand but but i got a reason though my reason is valid let's play this clip it's gonna be rocky but roll with me it's real quick <laughs> but to everybody who especially the ones who who, who, who look like me and the, the, the men who look like me who quit the ah uh, she if she kamala want my vote she need to explain herself to me what she gonna do for the black people listen stop asking the mother black woman to explain they stuff to you she's not a black woman she's a candidate plies i know you don't understand how electoral politics work i mean you pretend not to know even though you're a college educated brother who pretends to be a dumbass and actually at this point i don't know if you're pretending or not but kamala is not just black and look and, and look guys i'm tired of having this conversation about what black is we know she's not black american okay whatever but the point is She's a candidate for the United States presidency. She's not some random woman walking around and we're going, we're going to question you. Nah, she's running to lead the free world, Goofy. She's not just running to go to the store. She's not running to be the, the waste management officer. She's not running to be sergeant at arms at your local uh, Rotary Club. Nah, she's running to be right here at the button for nuclear war, Goofy. She's running to be the president of the, the states of America. And you're saying every other group gets to say, oh, quick, Kamala, explain yourself. Accept us. Accept us. We're supposed to go, we don't care about that. Duh. We don't care about, what do you think? Let me see your skin color. Let me see, oh, yeah, she black. That's it. That's all. That's all I need to see, man. She black. That's all I need to know, man. I mean, if it was a white woman, I would be asking questions. But since it's a black woman, I don't need to know nothing. Hey, I'm going to just close my eyes. Don't talk, lady. No. Don't disrespect yourself by telling me why we should hire you. My mama black, so therefore, I'm picking you. Yeah, see, this is something that my white friends don't go through. See how hard it is to be black? You get this type of shit. Has, has, Tella, has, has Kid Rock or um, has Kid Rock come out and cuss out white people who didn't vote for Trump? I'm just asking. They're about the Kid Rock implies ain't that much difference in age. Has, has Kid Rock done that? I'm trying to think of an obscure artist. Now, Kid Rock is probably more successful than Plies. I, I don't know. Um, the, Bat the Backstreet Boys. Has one of the Backstreet Boys is not the lead singer? Has he come out and shitted all over white men and said, how dare you ask Trump, what are you going to do? I'm just checking because when you black, you are subjected to this type of nonsense all the time. It's almost like a hobby or a strategy. Come on, Plies, you did it to yourself. You wanted to go viral. You're viral, sir. I hope you spend the money that the DNC gives you in good faith. Or explain they self to y'all. If y'all ain't willing to ask a motherfucking white man, did motherfucking explain himself. Y'all cool with the white man not explaining himself. Yo! First of all, a lot of people that are asking Kamala are asking her because they don't want to vote for Trump, doofus. Yeah! Do you realize that there are other options? There's Dr. Cornel West, there's Dr. Jill Stein, there was RFK Jr., there is Claudia De La Cruz, uh, and there's this thing, you may have heard of it. It's called a couch. 40% of Americans don't vote at all. 
See, you're so, you're so infected or you're such a shield for the Democratic Party, man. You don't even recognize that right now you're talking to independent voters. You're talking because the Democrats are already going to vote for it, dude. You're talking to people who are not Democrats. That's a whole different sale. You're talking to libertarians. You're talking to Republicans. And you're talking to independents. And you're talking to people that are not affiliated. When you're talking to those people, yeah, they ask questions because they're not obligated. They're not a part of that party that you are part of. They're not D.L. Hughley. They're not Ricky Smiley. They're not Steve Harvey. They're not getting paid or looking for hookups or have contracts with the DNC or the Kamala Harris team, Kamala Harris rehire team or hire team or campaign to say certain things. These are regular people. I'm not getting paid by Republicans or Democrats or anything connected to either party. So none of that works on me. None of this... None of this works on me. All it does is make me dump on you. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. His mother. Go to mother. She need to explain herself to me what she going to do for the black community. What's wrong with wanting something done for the black community? You know what, Plies? I don't think you like black people that much. I mean, you like yourself. You care about yourself, but you don't care about other black people because if you did... You wouldn't be upset that black people want something for their community. You don't get upset when Latinos want something for their community. I'm just checking. I want to go back in the archives. Were you upset when Asians wanted something for their community? What about our Jewish brothers and sisters? Were you upset when they wanted something for their communities and for their people? Were you upset when the Native Americans wanted something? Were you upset when the LGBTQ wanted something or the unions wanted something? Why is it you're only upset when black people want something? Here's the deal, man. No more black people can run for office if black people are not going to let black people ask shit of black people. Because if she was white, you wouldn't have anything to say. Maybe you would. Maybe you would. probably be right out here caping for Biden, wouldn't you? Yeah, because you you're, you're looking for DNC money. I don't even think it matters to you what, who the person is. All groups are allowed in this country to keep the tires, to check out the owner's manual, to look at the amenities of, of what they get choosing this particular candidate and what it means for their families. Let's keep going. It's going to keep on digging a hole, so I don't got to use it all in one pause. She want my vote. She need to explain herself. Asking the white man explain herself. Trump has been the most criticized, probably human being in the history of the United States. Definitely the most criticized person in U.S. politics in history. Easily. Trump has been criticized more in the past four years that he hasn't been in office than Kam has been criticized her entire career. Hell, more than Biden's been criticized his entire career. Do you realize that? The, the numbers on it, I cited them earlier. There was a survey done by Media Research Corporation where they determined, just looking at ABC, CBS, and NBC, 84% of the coverage that those three networks did on Kamala was all positive. Yeah, they didn't look at her time as being a prosecutor, the controversial cases. They didn't look at anything to do with uh, uh, the lab that she worked at where it was tainted or the lab that she oversaw that reported to her that was tainted or about the firefighters that she kept in jail to serve and protect those fires for a buck a day that they had to get a court order for her to release those prisoners. They didn't go over any of that stuff. They didn't go anything over a past record. The border stuff, the stuff with Afghanistan, and our pull out of those troops that's so controversial, and a litany of other issues. Not even the salacious stuff with Willie Brown. No one even went over that. Can you imagine 
corporate media not talking about Stormy Daniels? Willie Brown was married. And Kamala was a thing on the side and everybody knew about it. But no one talks about it. Why? So those three networks, 84% of their coverage of Kamala was positive. Trump, on the other hand, who hasn't even been in office the last four years, 89% of his coverage was negative. The dude got shot at here. <laughs> there was an assassination attempt on his life and they didn't give him positive coverage. And you're saying, we're not holding Trump accountable. Man, the entire globe, the entire, and look, that doesn't count CNN or MSNBC. All right? We just talk about NBC, ABC, and CBS. I bet if we took the CNN and MSNBC, especially MSNBC, it would be a wider disparity. It'd be like 99% of the coverage was negative for Trump. I don't know what you're thinking. Black people are not questioning Trump. That's crazy. They don't have to question him. It's only been in constant rotation every day on some media platform for the last eight to nine years. But you know, these are facts. Why would you care about facts? You don't care about facts. You want your check sent to you via Cash App, right? You don't take facts or direct deposit. You probably take direct deposit. I'm sure they paid you somehow. Let's keep going, Plies. You too much scared, Ike, huh? This is just dumb now. We scared to ask Trump what he going to do for us. Um, he already said what he's going to do. He going he gonna to give cops uh, complete immunity. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know if this capable, if it's even possible. He can just say stuff and his base goes, great. But I don't even know what that means. Um, oh, I know one thing he said he was going to do for black people that I thought was interesting. He said he was going to stop the flow of illegal immigrants. Yeah. He said, that's what I'm going to do for black people. I'm going to help them keep their jobs. That may not pertain to you because I don't know if all those immigrants can rap or if that's what you still do. I don't know what you still do. I think what you still do is do this. Post for a living. And get DL, DL to retweet you. But, uh, yeah. Um, and, and I think Trump had a whole section on his site or something. I don't know. I got to go over Trump's entire plan. But the, the point is, yeah, like when Cube did the contract with Black America, Trump met with him. Democrats didn't. So why would they be afraid? Like, they weren't, af they weren't afraid to ask him, what's he going to do? They met with him. Kamala won't meet. She was a part of an administration that would not meet with black people to talk about what they were going to do. And as far as I know, other than going on a tour with D.L. Hughley and Steve Harvey, she hasn't to this point. Let's keep going, y'all. Somebody need to explain something to y'all. Well, she she been in the office already three and a half years. Why why she ain't do all the things she said she was gonna do? Cause she ain't the president. That's why. Good point. Now you remember you said that. You remember you said that because I agree. When you're a vice president, there's nothing too expensive for vice president. Vice presidents don't have the power, right? Okay. Stop telling me how much experience she has then, and she had no power. And don't let her take credit for anything that Joe Biden did while she was there. Because it wasn't on her. She didn't steer it. She didn't steer it. She wasn't driving. She was a passenger, right? She wasn't even working the GPS. He got a GPS. It's called the Biden team. She got her own team. She's sitting over there somewhere doing something else. So I love this, man. Plies, you are not helping. I, I like the way you are. You and Charlemagne coordinated this stuff. You play bad cop, you play good cop, or vice versa. And you get twice the coverage. You get twice the reach and awareness. You guys are smart. But some people are smart as well. When you go to Mike, no, 
That lady, that's my manager. She don't get to do what the she want to do. She might can give you some other fries, but that's about it. Some free mother fries. That's about, that's about all she can do, but she can't change the price of that. So she couldn't do nothing. She could only give us free fries, right, Plies? That's the extent of your analogies. Going to McDonald's. When you go to McDonald's, you can't ask the system manager to give you nothing. Okay, how about this, supplies? She's not running to be vice president. She's already vice president, Goofy. What's she going to do now? She's running to be president. And you just told us we can't ask her what she's going to do. How you making sense, man? Did you play this before you posted this? You didn't, did you? You said, I'm plies. I don't need to play this back. I'm just going to post it. These black people are too dumb anyway. Right? You just posted it. You didn't even think about what you were saying. Right? She's not running to be vice president. No one runs to be vice president. They're chosen. So she's running to be president, plies. And you started this off talking about how you don't think people should ask her what she's going to do if they make a president, if they vote for her. What are they supposed to do? Question Tim Walls? He the vice president. You say it's okay to question Trump, but is that okay to question Kamala? Trump does press conferences. Trump does sit-down interviews. Kamala does it. How many houses did you buy without looking at them? How many cars did you did you buy without at least sitting in one? Who the hell is going to vote for somebody they don't know anything or accept idiots? And that's what you think black people are. Let's keep going, man. You are you a funny dude, man. I bet in real life, man, you a you a funny dude, man. You a cool guy, but right now, man, you just sound. Dumb as hell. You know, you sound really like like you fell off the you fell off a ladder of stupid and hit every step on the way down. Let's keep going, man. Or the pound up though. Oh, that motherfucking big Mike. That ain't that lady White House. She just like the motherfucking fall in line. Now, if you can get some other free fries out every now and again, you get some other free fries out. Look at you trying to think of something stupid to say next. We got your analogy the first time. Go ahead and say something new, baby. Go ahead. But y'all mother know this. Most of y'all. But y'all just want something to fucking say. Now, if she was the, if that, if she was mother president and, do, and didn't do something, then that's a whole different. Nah, you don't get to be president and then say, okay, well, I was president and I didn't do something. What's there to do if we don't tell her? See, when you hire a president, you're hiring them because the policies that they're running on that you want them to implement. That's why you pick. This is not football. It's not fantasy football where you go by helmets. Man, what? Man, I thought Ricky Smiley was the most ignorant. I thought Uncle Luke. I thought Luke was going to be the, the award of the dumbest post supporting Kamala Harris Award. Nah, man. You beat Luke. Yeah, you beat Luke. It took doing, too, man. You had to really buckle down and write down, I'm going to say all this dumb stuff right here. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to put it in here. All oh, these mofos. Let me put it. I don't know what to say there. What am I say? Oh, I know. I'm going to say mofo. These mofos. These mofos. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to put that there. I don't know. That doesn't sound really correctly. I don't know if I want to stoop to that level here. <sighs> this is crazy. Hey, baby, what do you think about this? Not dumb enough? Okay. Yeah, my phone. Yeah, go to court, court, court a banner, my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go get a court banner. And yeah, if you want some cheese, you gotta get some cheese. Get some fries, baby. Get some fries on the mofo. You get some fries on the mofo. <laughs> this is bad, babe. I mean, did that check come already? Because this is gonna... Ah, oh, whatever. You worked on this, Plies. I gotta give it to you. This is titanium stupid. You was just at like steel. Now you at titanium level. You are Terminator stupid at this point. You should be proud of yourself. Ball game. 
And the same who black woman need to explain that. I, I, y'all the same when when Barack was running, he was not like enough for you knew. And a lot of y'all, which I didn't figure out, which y'all getting confused. Y'all don't even want my like. Y'all want ignorant. A lot of y'all think. You say we don't want smart people. We want ignorant people. You mean like you? So you think we don't want Kamala because she's smart, man? <laughs> you pretend up here that you can't grasp simple concepts. You're pretending right now. You're projecting. That's the word. You're projecting, sir. You know you're talking about yourself. You know you think your 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 followers and your your supporters they want you to act ignorant like this. This is what they want you to do, and you're doing it. Yeah, what you're saying right now applies to you, brother. And I'm sorry, this is the only way that you can maintain an audience. That's that's horrible, man. I'm not saying you got to come up here and talk like you got a pole suck up your ass, man. You gotta you gotta you know have a facade, a a big you know all this like you know. Harvard graduate and conduct yourself in a corporate way and be stiff. I'm not saying you got to do that, but you're going way over the top to dumb it so far down, bro. That you're not only setting black people back, you're setting back Kamala Harris, the person you're supposed to be supporting. I mean, this is really low. And I know you and Charlemagne had a plan here. Who told you to execute this? Angela Rye? Man, who put this shit together? It was Angela Ryan, the native pod, Charlemagne's business partners. Did y'all put this together, man? Y'all had this all thought out. Man, I want everybody who's watching this. When I put this separate clip out, you got to share this. We see through y'all. We see what you're doing. Kamala Harris needs independent voters. You know what I think? I think independent voters don't like being told what to do. And they don't like people talking down to them and disrespecting them. Kamala already gets more black vote than Kamala will already get a large, large, large percentage of the black vote. She's already going to get a large, large percentage of Democrats. But with people like you talking, the amount of crossover voters, the amount of swing voters, the amount of independent voters, I mean, if they ever see this shit, they're going to be thinking twice about voting for I mean, nobody wants to be grouped with you, Plies. Why would anybody want to vote for the same person you vote for? It makes people want to question themselves, like, am I voting right? Was this a good decision? Should I do this? It's like watching somebody hit the joint before you and they like cough up a lung and you're like, I don't know if I should do this. I'm good. Skip me. That's how I feel when I hear you talk. You leave a bad taste in the mouth. Let's listen to Plies close it out, man. I'm sure he's going to make a strong point before he leaves us. Ignorant, mean, black. And that's why some of you like Trump because he's motherfucking ignorant. But I'm Fucking tell you, everybody black ain't motherfucking ignorant, and everybody white ain't motherfucking smart. But some of us are ignorant, like you, Plas. Some of us, a lot of us are, but a lot, a lot of us aren't. But some of us are, and you're one of those people that are. I don't know if it's intentional. I hope that it's intentional, Plas, because if you're doing this on accident, I mean, damn. Yeah, man, I got a feeling you're acting. I can't imagine you now, you being this dim. Now, you say on one hand that you love black people, but then you say black people should not be able to ask her for anything. They should have no criteria. She hasn't done any debates. She hasn't done any real press conferences. She hasn't had a sit-down interview. What you think is supposed to happen, bro? But I will give you this, and this is something I think. Um, let's let them go. Give it up for plies, y'all. I will say this. There are a couple points that there are a couple of things about Kamala Harris's campaign that put her at a disadvantage. And we hear a lot about the advantages. You know, one of the disadvantages that she has. Well, we just had a black president. Or half black president. 
Yeah, because you just said, we said Obama wasn't black enough. I don't know why we would think Hussein Barack o Hussein Barack Hussein Obama wasn't black enough. I don't know why people would think that. Who grew up in Hawaii or some shit. But anyway. Um, we just had a half black president or black president, don't matter. And he kind of didn't do that much for black people, you know? So yeah, you don't even get to be first black once. And whoever's gonna come after that. It's going to face us a higher level of scrutiny. I mean, it's just so many times you're going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe before you go like, what you doing behind my car? Why you got that banana and why are you standing next to my exhaust? It's common sense, bro. So one of the, ne one of the negatives for Kamala is she's not the first black candidate with a good shot for being president. That's only natural. It's also the point that she's running as a Democrat. Yeah, bro. So a lot of black Americans were already trending down on the Democrats. I don't know if you remember, but a lot of people were looking at Biden like, hell nah. Yeah, that wasn't because they didn't like white guys or, you know, or, or he was from Delaware. It was because they're tired of the Democratic Party lying to him. They're tired of voting Democrat and not getting anything for their vote. Kamala Harris is a Democrat. That's the part that she's running with. So people are looking at her. She's got that on her too. She got the stink of Joe Biden on her that they were against voting for. That's not a positive if you were tired of the Democratic Party, if you're sick of their lies, if you're sick of not getting anything for your vote, and then here comes another Democrat. Just a, That's enough to make people very cautious, to be very scrutinizing. People should be scrutinizing anyway. But you understand that those two things add up to more, a closer look, no matter who the candidate is. There's going to be a higher level of scrutiny when you didn't pick them. Yeah, if somebody bought you a drink out, Plies, you ain't seeing port, you'd be like, what's in that drink? If we listen to you, Plies, we would just guzzle it down. Wake up with a bad situation back there. Wondering how that happened. Yeah, because you think we don't have a right to say, who poured this and let me pour my own. You think that's okay. I don't. I think that's a horrible way to live. It's very risky. And any American with any common sense has the right to say, at least let me watch you pour the drink. Before taking the drink, Plies. I don't know, man. I think my analogy is better than your McDonald's analogy. Who's winning? I didn't even graduate from college like you. And I could still come up with a better analogy. Oh, that's right. I'm not a paid shield. So, hey, guys. Kamala Harris has a lot of benefits. She gets to collect all that money. I heard she raised almost 500 million dollars she raised a bill half a billion dollars and she got you complaining you are complaining she's killing it we all know she would have never won a primary never she's the she's the nominee and you still mad she didn't get told she didn't get elected to be vice president she didn't get elected to be the democratic nominee and now you mad that she's going to have to be elected to be, to be president? That's a problem for you? That's too much to ask? That people get to vote? That people get to ask her questions? One more time. She, listen, y'all. Listen to this shit. Kamala Harris, she did, not, she did not have to be hired or voted on to become vice president. Biden picked her. She wasn't even killing it when she was in that race in 2020. She dropped out before the race even began. I'm sorry. Tulsi Gabbard knocked it the fuck out. Then she got chosen to be VP. Right? Then she gets chosen to be the nominee. She didn't run against anybody. There was no primaries. Uh, Josh Shapiro, 
Tim Walls or whoever, Pete Buttigieg, um, all the people that could have ran against her, Cory Booker might have ran, Gretchen Whitmer, right? All the people that could have ran against her didn't get a chance to run. You're not happy, though, because she should not even be questioned. What's she going to do if we're elected? You know what, man? You need to move to, like, you need to move to Russia or China. For real. Maybe you'll be happy. Or North Korea. Yeah, go to North Korea with Kim Jong-un because they don't get to vote there either because it sounds like that's what you want. You want a dictator. And I keep hearing the Democrats talk about that's what they think Trump is. Nah, man. If there's a dictator party, it's the Democrats. Nobody shitted on Republicans for winning the primary. They were like, how dare you run, Ted Cruz? Nobody said that to Nikki Haley. How dare you run? In fact, they brought her on The View. They made her a celebrity when no one cared about her at all until then. Nah. The Democrats are not the party of democracy. They're the party of autocracy. All right, guys, that's all I got. It is what it is. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Please hit like on this. I'm going to put this out as a separate clip just to make sure people know I mean business. Black America, man, we got to stop allowing these people, man, to have a platform. We got to start boosting the platforms of the people that speak up for us. That's all I'm saying, man. I know I'm not the only one speaking up, but I'm speaking up right now. This is my platform. Please help this platform get bigger. I wish I could count on these people. Like, look, if Plyas said Kamba's going to do this, X, Y, Z, he had an argument. I wouldn't roast his ass. But anytime you talk down to black people and tell us how we don't get to have a choice, that somehow exercising our choice is negative, and we should be bashed for that, nah, I, I got to stand up. I can't let this guy get away with that. So yeah, hit like on this, share with other people.